Hi guys, this is fifth grade, uh, chapter two, lesson two. Um, we are going to go ahead and get started with number two. Shows us how to do number one already. Number two. Um, notice across the top of my paper, my homework page, I wrote the um, anagram for does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers or dirty monkey smell completely bad? Just divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. So we're going to go ahead and do those steps, okay? So five is not going to go into three. Placeholder. Five will go into 31 six times, okay? That's my division. Six times five is 30. That's my multiplication. Now my subtraction, okay? 31 minus 30, I'm going to have one left over, okay? Now, my check is just checking that one is smaller than five. It is, so I can go ahead and bring down my two. Five is going to go into two, two times. Two times five is 10. I subtract, I get two, okay? Now, we are going to go ahead and put a decimal in there because it wants us to do this out to the hundredth today, okay? So now I can put a decimal, bring that down. Five goes into 20, four times, four times five is 20, subtract zero. Now that's the tenth place. If I want it to the hundredth place, I need to just add a zero. Okay? Pretty easy. All right. You guys are going to do numbers three and four. Okay. I'm going to get you guys started on number five. It's a little tougher. Okay. Well, number five is not, but the next one's on. Okay. So we're going to get started there. Okay. So number five says n equals three times 45. We need to find whatever n is. So that means that we have to do 45 times three. Okay. Now, Three times five is 15, carry your one. Three times four is 12, plus one more is 13. That means that N equals 135, okay? Pretty easy, right? Now we're gonna get going tougher, okay? Number six says 643 equals four times 160 plus N, okay? So now we are going to have to do this first, okay? So now I'm gonna rewrite, okay, plus n, because that n is not gonna disappear just because we do this math, okay? I'm gonna go down here, and I'm gonna go 160 times four. Four times zero is zero, four times six is 24, carrier two. Four times one is four, plus two is six. So, 600, and 40, okay? Now, here's the thing. In order to get N by itself, which is what I want, okay, I have to do the opposite of the sign, which in this case is plus. So I'm gonna subtract. And if it wants me to add on this side, it wants me to add 640. So if I take away 640 on this side, and then if I do the same thing to this side of the equal sign, okay, so whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side, okay? So now, 643 minus 640, three minus zero is three. Those ones would cancel out, okay? So that means that you would have three equals N. Okay, these guys cancel out when you do the opposite of the sign, okay? And the whole, and the number that it's there, okay? So three minus N, okay? So you guys are gonna try number seven. You can totally do this. Okay, remember your PEMDAS, Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Okay, we're going to go down and do number seven. Or sorry, number eight. Okay, number eight says Randy has 128 ounces of dog food. He feeds his dog eight ounces of food each day. How much? How many days will the dog food last? He has 128 ounces. He loses eight ounces a day. How many days? 
Okay? So 8 does not go into 1. Placeholder. 8 will go into 12. 1 times. 1 times 8 is 8. Subtract. I get 4. 4 is less than 8, so I can bring down my other 8. Well, I know that 6 times 8 is 48, so 6 times 8 is 48. I subtract, I get 0. So 16 days. Want to know how many days it will last? 16 days. Okay? Number 9. Go on to... Okay, and it says, Angelina bought 64 ounces, a 64-ounce can of lemonade mix. She uses four ounces of the mix for each pitcher of lemonade. How many pitchers of lemonade can Angelina make from the can of mix? So, we, she has 64 ounces, and she uses four ounces each time. How many pitchers can she make? So, four goes into six. One time, one times four is four. I subtract. Six minus four is two. Two is smaller than four, so I can bring down my other four. Four goes into 24. Six times, six times four is 24. Subtract zero. She can make 16 pictures. There you go. Okay? You guys can pause it. Make sure you're showing your work. Do whatever you need to do to make that happen. Okay? You guys are going to go on to the back. And on the lesson check, you guys are going to do that yourself. Okay? You totally can. I believe in you. Okay? We are going to go down to the spiral review and do that together. Okay? It's important to remember the skills that you already learned. Keep those skills sharp. Okay? Number three on spiral review says Francis is buying a stereo system for $196. She wants to pay for it in four equal monthly payments or installments, which is just payments. What is the amount she'll pay each month? So she owes $196. She wants to pay for it in four months. Let's do it. Four does not go into one. I'm going to put a placeholder. Four goes into 19. Four times. Four times four is 16. Subtract. I get three. Okay. Three is smaller than four. So I'm going to bring down my six. Okay. Four goes into 36. Nine times, nine times four is 36. I subtract, I get zero. So she will pay $49 per month. Okay. All right. Number four on the back under spiral review says a bakery bakes 184 loaves of bread in four hours. How many loaves does a bakery make in one hour? So all we have to do is take that 184 that it makes in four hours, divide it by the four, and that'll tell us how many it makes in one hour. So, four does not go into one placeholder. Four into 18 goes four times. Four times four is 16. Eight minus six is two. Nothing there. Okay. Two is less than four, so I can bring down my four. Six, or sorry, four goes into 24 six times. 6 times 4 is 24, subtract, get 0. So 46 loaves, you can put of bread. We is lazy when I do this much writing, so I put loaves. Okay, that'll work just fine, okay? Number 5 says Marvin collects trading cards. He stores them in boxes that hold 235 cards each. If Marvin has four full boxes of cards, how many cards does he have in his collection? Okay, so you're just going to take the 235 cards that each box holds and multiply them by the four boxes he has that are full. Okay, so four times five is 20. Zero down, carry the two. Four times three is 12, plus two, 14, carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one more is nine. 940 cards. Okay, now. I did this one on the same one because it's super easy. These are the best questions because they are the easiest. Okay. It says, what is the value of the digit 7 in 870,540? They are the easiest because all you do is drop down the number it's asking about, and everything else after it becomes a zero. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Don't forget your comma. 70,000. Okay. All right, guys. That was 
2.2, come back for 